So let's continue from where we stopped in our M programming tutorial. Uh, we've been able to display something on the browser. Um, we've been able to actually display the model on the browser instead of some static text. And we actually also convert it from uh, integer uh, to text and display. Now let's talk about working with buttons and text boxes. The first thing we want to do is to display the buttons and the text boxes. Now we can just come here and just display it. Actually, this is the view, the view function. There is where you're going to display whatever you want to see on the browser. So let's start by, we have this div tag. So inside the div tag, we want to put everything. So let me just make it look a little better. Okay, so we have the div tag. So inside the div tag, we have, first we have a text box. The next thing we we'll have, I need another div tag. So let me use another div tag here. That's going to take, actually I could have used something else, maybe a space or something, but let's just use a div tag. And I need next uh, to this div tag, I need, I need a text box. And the text box, we call it input. An input also takes two parameters here. And what else? We need a button um, also takes two, like this. All right, so this button is gonna take a text, what's well, gonna appear there, let me go call it add, okay? Uh, so these inputs, let's try to put something there just to see how it looks, or maybe let's leave it out for now. So I've added an input and a button, right? You can see right here and um, an empty space, an empty div tag here. Um, so let's just try it out just for fun. Let's just try to see what shows up. If I come here and I've saved everything, so let me open my terminal, new terminal, and say here, let's see, I'm going to say, let me just, I, think, I don't think I need this, so I'm going to kind of collapse this, if it's allow me, good. Okay, so if I say M make, uh, first let me go into the SRC folder, CD, SRC, M make, main dot M, okay. Now it's complaining because the button is not there. So we have to just import button from here. Uh, button and also input comes from the HTML as well. Actually, we have said exp uh, exposing everything, but I'm just trying to show you that there are different ways you can do things. So let me just save everything and then let's kind of uh, recompile this program and make. Yeah, so it worked. So if I use mReactor to launch the, the web server, we can now go to our dashboard. If I refresh this, now you can see we have something displayed here. So I have our text box here and we have the add button. Now let's just try to play around. I want to just check if something, we can just add something to this text box. Let's say text, um, enter text, enter text, enter your name. Okay, for instance, just, just for the fun of it. So if I come back here, stop the server, and recompile this and start back my M reactor again, and if I refresh this, you can see it doesn't, sorry, just refresh, refresh. So it actually does not work. So we don't display in the text box uh, the items uh, text like this. So we assign, we assign uh, input value to the text box. Maybe I can just try something. I've not done this before, so let me see. Let's try value. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it works, but let's see. So if I come back here, stop this, make. Okay, so it doesn't work. So let's leave out the text box for now. Let's talk about how to handle button clicks for now. All right, so this is how to add some UI components in the to the UI, to the HTML. And uh, let's go back to the procedure. So this is what we are, where we are currently. The, add the input button, okay, the bot statement exposing from int function. I think we already did from int function, that's fine. Right, let's now talk about button click. To achieve button click, we need to import on click, okay? So we need to import on click. This time we're importing on click from HTML.event. So I'm going to say HTML.event exposing 
on click. So this on click is the attribute of the button uh, that we are going to add in the attribute section. I like kind of uh, cleaning up here. So okay. So we need to add the on click to the attribute section. So this is the attribute section of the button, which is in this one. So I'm going to say on click add. Now when you say on click add, on click is going to need a second parameter which is a message. Okay. Uh, I've not talked about the message. A message is more or less a function of something that is just going to happen. Okay. So like you have add here. But in this case, we are talking about um, uh, some uh, some action that's going to be performed. That's what we call referred to as a message. So we can create a message by simply coming here and create type message and it's going to be add. Okay. So I've created a message. So this is the syntax for creating a message. And in this case, now when you click on a button, this message is going to execute. But now when we are clicking on the button, we are updating the model, updating our model. Okay. So let's try to read a bit here. So we also need to do something in the update function right here. So on click first parameter is on click as the on click expects a parameter which is applied message. Here we call it we call the message out, create a message. A message is anything that can be done that affects the model. So we create a message like so. Since the click will modify the model, we will also update uh, must give the update function the message as first parameter. So the update function should also know what is happening. So I'm going to give it message. And now there, are, there could be different messages uh, that may be required to, to uh, execute. So in this case, we are going to uh, check whether the message is of type add using case statement. So I'm going to say case message msg. So this parameter, if it's of type, oh, sorry, of, and if it's add, so we have this. Okay. So when the message is of type add, we have to return the model. So for now, we are just returning the model. So nothing much is happening here. Okay. So if 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 we go back to uh, so give me a second. Let me close up all this and reopen my terminal and. Okay, so it's not closing anything, it's just so I don't like seeing all this. Okay, perfect. Uh, actually, I'm also going to close this one. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to relaunch this application and let's see. So, and make uh, first, let's navigate inside the SRC folder, see the SRC. And make a uh, main dot m and it compiled and I'm going to fire the m reactor and it worked fine. So if I refresh, actually nothing happens. If I click here, nothing happens. If I look at my console now, we um, just go to the console here. So if I click on the button, nothing happens. So everything is fine. So actually, we have not done anything to change something on the view when we click on the button. And that is what we actually would like to do. So in the next part, let's talk about logging, logging uh, messages to the console. So I'd like to stop here for now so that these lessons don't become too much. I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel and also uh, leave me a comment if this has been informative for you. Uh, let's see in the next part.